I could, I'll get into what we have to do to protect local streams, but I'm going to tell you the hound dog story. It's not that great a story, but it really brought it home to me. And there's a guy who used to take fishing, and he's back here somewhere. He's one of these guys with the really terrible hats. Uh, his name is Ken Roberts. He used to work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. I think everybody has been around one, but you may know him. Um, Ken was an awesome guy. He was a, became a good friend of mine. Where are you, Ken? I think they can include him in here. Anyway, okay, Ken's not here. Um, <laughs> Ken, uh, believe me, he, was, he made the first cut and the second cut, so he almost got it here. But Ken said, you know, you're going to do this river keeper stuff. He says, you better, you better hear my story. He says, we, you know, he's worked at Fish and Wildlife, and we had people messing with streams, bloggers, and people building roads and all this stuff, and he was really kind of a gruff guy. And um, he, he told me, he says, let me, let me convey a story to you. Don't river keepers do legal stuff all the time? He said, I don't know, I'm getting into this. I'll let you know. He says, you know, we worked on this one logging problem in this very sensitive salmon breeding grounds in Alaska. They had logged the whole mountainside. Um, they didn't do any of the things they're supposed to do as loggers. You know, they built the roads, they cut the roads, they didn't put up any check dams for water, and the whole mountainside was falling in this creek, and it was a really important place for salmon reproduction. We were in the court repeatedly, he said. Repeatedly. We got in front of the same judge. We talked about sedimentation, talked about all the technical things that they're supposed to do, and. And the guy just, he always shook his head, and, uh, and he kind of said, well, you know, it looks like they're, they're really trying hard, and you guys probably recognize this story, but here you are. They're trying hard to do what they're supposed to do, you know, they're putting in this and putting in that, and they get a very confusing message from both sides. And the judge never really resolved to do anything about it until finally, so the very last time they, um, they, they had to go testify, he said that he, he, this guy had come to him on um, one of his days off, and he says, man, do you hear about what happened to my hound dog? He says, no. He says, oh man, I gotta, I gotta show you my hound dog. And he goes and he um, takes my friend to his house. He says, he was in that stream, the stream where all that logging was occurring. Apparently he used a defoliator and a bunch of stuff. Um, and he says, look at my dog. And he shows him the dog, and the dog, all his hair had fallen off. He had this terrible rash, and awful, awful, that monster. He says, we're gonna, we're gonna take the hound dog into court. And so when they bring the hound dog into court, this is a judge who does anything about salmon, anything about all the sensitive species, about reproduction, and ecosystems, all this stuff. They brought the hound dog in. The guy turns out he was a hunter. And he says, what's this? He says, it looks like my hound dog. You know, he, says, uh, he says, this is an atrocity. Well, how did this happen? And they said, well, this dog was swimming and had the date and the time he was swimming in the creek. He said, two days ago. He said, yeah, fell out. He says, and he started banging his gag. He said, this is, that's it. He says, I've been thinking about doing something about this locking problem for a long time. He says, we're going to throw the book at these guys. He's like, this is absolutely a, a, absurd. And so we brought the hound dog in, and so I think our job, and something I've tried to think about is, um, and I'm not sure I'm doing it all the time, because I forget what to do it sometimes, it's our job to bring the hound dog in. Not only to the court, but wherever we're going, you know, just like Christy said, who's your audience? What are they going to care about? Are they going to care about the salmon? Are they going to care about the hound dog? Sometimes, apparently. 